good morning students let me wish you all the best for the day hope things are all fine with you and you are uh, doing your studies well in continuation with our classes on clauses today we are moving on to part 3 in the last class we are studying about adjective clause and the part of adverb clause now we are going to look at the remaining adjective clause we saw is a clause that is used to modify a noun in the main clause of the total sentence the whole clause is used as an adjective and adverb clause the same way is used in place of an adverb the action of the main clause is modified or described or extra information is given about it with the help of the adverb clause the whole clause in that we saw about adverb clause of time and place in the last class adverb clause of time and place in the last class now we are going to see about the third one adverb clause that which is related to cause or reason of something cause or reason i did not come to school because i was sick i did not come to school okay that is the main clause and it is telling about an action that did not take place i did not come to school now why i did not come what was the reason behind me not coming to the school or what was the cause that i couldn't come to class because i was sick so this is the adverb clause of reason because i was sick now don't forget in all these three clauses i have told you they are subordinate clauses adjective clause adverb clause and noun clause which we will be studying now all these three clauses are subordinate clauses so subordinate clause always con contain the conjunction that is coming in that particular sentence okay you cannot divide or separate the the conjunction from the rest of the clause keep that in mind so this clause here is because i was sick is that clear that is how it becomes adverb clause of reason because the other conjunctions are as since okay as i was tired i went to bed early since it is early morning i don't want to go out of my house all these situations we talk about reason next is effect or result so that or such that okay are the two conjunctions don't forget not this so dot 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 that such dot dot that there is another one so that without dots and then both of are two different things okay this is so that so dot 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 that talking about the effect or result i was so tired that i could not work last evening i was so tired that i could not work last evening so here the result of me getting very tired he said that as a result of it i could not work very very badly tired i was as a result i could not work that is what is being said here now next one is purpose the aim okay for what reason for what to get what to gain what what was the basic motive behind doing something that so that in order that that less okay now to tell you an example uh let's let me take the same so that here it is different so dot 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 that here it is so that uh he works hard so that he might uh achieve his aim or he might reach his aim
she works hard so that he may reach his aim he works hard so that he may reach his aim the purpose of his working hard this is the main plus and so that he may reach his aim is the subordinate clause now the purpose of this why does he work hard or what is the aim behind his working hard what is he thinking of doing with the doing this that is that he may reach his aim maybe he is a student like you imagine that his aim is to become to reach the first rank holder to become the first rank holder of the class and he is a reasonably good student due to some negligence carelessness some bad friendship and all that in between he lost track and he became little less in his studies now he is set a new this one aim in his life that he has to reach his a uh, um, he has to become the first rank holder in the class so he works hard for that and what is his aim to become the first rank for that that's where we use this next condition condition is that if something is to be done a condition has to be fulfilled okay if something has to be done a condition has to be fulfilled if you walk fast if you walk fast you will reach early you are going to school you are going to railway station you are going back home whatever it is now to reach early the you will reach early is a main plus if you walk fast is a subordinate plus now if you want to reach early or if you have to uh, if your aim is to reach early i want for you to reach early the condition is that you should walk fast in this snail speech slowly slowly walking you are not going to reach early you have to walk fast so that you reach early so the condition to be fulfilled is that you should walk fast as a result what is the benefit you are going to have the achievement that you are going to have you will reach early home or railway station or bus stand or market wherever you are planning to go so that is uh, about adverb clause of condition now the next one is contrast contrast we studied that when we studied about uh, Uh, conjunctions, okay, opposing in nature, contrast here, opposing in nature. Though, although, even though, all the all three are related or uh, meaning is the same. And even if, these are the common conjunctions that are used when we use a main clause and a clause subordinate clause which is of contrast in nature. Okay, when it is to be connected. we use this and very often we use uh, uh, this type of sentence in our question though the cost of petrol is high everyone uses it okay we very seldom stop buying petrol because the price is high so the contrast is that the price of petrol is high people should buy less but there is no reduction in that petrol everyone buys as usual Okay, so that is what is though, although, even though, or even if in that category. Next comparison. This we have studied in uh, in uh, degrees of comparison very well. Okay, done in comparative degree study. Okay. Today is colder than yesterday. Today is. Colder than yesterday. We are comparing the chilling level, the cold atmosphere of yesterday and today, and we say today 
it is more. So that's when we use conjunction as as. In positive degree and all, we have used. My my brother is as intelligent as his friend. Comparing the intelligence of both the people, comparing the intelligence of both the people, my brother is intelligence and his friend's intelligence. All the, I mean, both are equal. So that is where we use the more as. Now, manner. Adverb clause of manner. How something happens? It happens in a particular way. To talk about that, for example, uh, uh, for example, uh, he talks as if he has been pressurized. He talks as if he has been pressurized. See, some police is interrogating somebody, a thief or a person who has been caught for some problem, and someone has told him if police ask you you have to tell only like this don't tell anything else only this much and now he does the same way so the police has a doubt on him and the police is saying that he talks as if he has been instructed by somebody okay someone pressurized him to talk only this okay or he runs as if he has seen a thief. He runs as if he has or as though he has seen a thief. A thief who is going to attack him and take away things and frightening of that how a person runs for life that way he runs. That's how we use this and work process. Okay. Uh, that's all ladies and gentlemen. I am stopping here. If you have got any doubts please Contact me either through call or through WhatsApp. Thank you.